All I do. Dream Team, it's your boy D. Neil. Back with another reaction video. And we are here to learn seven weird things in German culture experienced as an American living in Germany. Before we dive in, make sure you guys subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we got? Hello, Lamb Like here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are an old subscriber of mine, if you're new, welcome. Uh, please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. I'm going to be making videos about Germany and American cultural differences just like I did on my old channel. I'm excited to be back. It's been a good break. I have all these ideas in my head and I'm seeing things clearer. clearer. If you aren't supporting me on Patreon, I really appreciate those who are. Um, I'm saving up now to move back to Germany, so it's a big, big, big help. Especially now since I'm out of work with the coronavirus thing um, and being in the high risk group. Having asthma, I am not taking any risks, and so I'm not leaving my house until it's deemed safe. What's going on in this world? <laughs> anyway, so for this video, um, I wanted to think back on some funny memories and things that just kind of made me giggle or made me laugh about, like, cultural differences can be just so random and funny and, and I don't know. Sure. So these are just some of the weird cultural differences and maybe not necessarily funny, but just interesting. They just interesting. <laughs> and talk, as a background, I lived me. in Hamburg and Oldenburg, and all together, I lived in Germany for two and a half years, almost three years, and I'm from Southern California. Weird difference in armpit hair. What do you mean, armpit hair? So the armpit hair. I actually made a video dedicated to this. I'll link it down below once I'm finished editing it. I asked strangers on the street in Portland back a year ago when that was okay to do that and not during the coronavirus times right yeah. now. Um, I asked them questions about their armpit hair and what they think of if a man shaves his armpit hair. And I think it'll be really interesting because in Germany, what I learned when I was there, I actually learned this on accident. I was dating someone and then I noticed he didn't have arm hair and I thought, okay, this is really strange. But yeah, yeah. German men shave their armpit hair. And no, they are not. Really? Some of them aren't even athletes who do this. This is just a general thing they do in their culture, and this will be kind of surprising to Americans. It's not good. Yeah, or bad. it was just kind of a surprise at first because exactly. In America, I, I agree. Not good or bad. Whether you shave your armpit here or don't shave your armpit here doesn't make a difference to me. But that is definitely different than what I'm used to. That that is shocking to me. Like. I legit, I guess, and that's my American mindset at work again, just thinking the way it's done in America is the way it's done all over the world. I legit thought, like, all men, like, around the world, mostly, shaved their armpit hair. I mean, didn't, not, not shave, didn't shave their armpit hair. I, I've never shaved it. I feel like if I started, that would be more work that I just do not want to do. Um... Uh, but that's a very interesting one. That's one. I've watched a lot of German cultural shock videos. And that one literally had no idea about. That's a very new one for me. This could be a great video. America, I think we have these sort of, still we have a, a gender gap. We have these gender roles still that are pretty, I think, strictly followed in the U.S. And it's it's annoying. But like the men have to be men. Men are hairy and men have <laughs> arm hair and... So I think in Germany I had to get used to that, that no, like women shave their armpit hair, so can men and the German women who, my German girlfriends that I had met, they were telling me that they actually preferred their German boyfriends to have no armpit hair. They just thought yeah. it's just so much more hygienic for them when they're cuddling and I never thought of it before with my high school boyfriend or anything. I never thought, me, and I understand, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, that's what they're used to over there in Germany. And then it probably is more hygienic, to be honest. Uh, wow. That, yeah, that's a difference. Okay, let, let's get on to difference number two. Oh, I love this already. Birthday cake. So tradition. the second weird cultural difference that I experienced was on your birthday in Germany, the birthday person, birthday girl or birthday boy, brings their own cake to work or to wherever they're going that really? day on their birthday. I was so shocked by this. Like, what? You make your own cake? Usually in America, 
the other people make you a cake. Yeah. Like, I remember when I was in high school, I was in my French class in high school, and one of my friends in class surprised me and brought me a cake and balloons and for my birthday, and this was kind of the typical thing you saw from other people in high school, and so I just was really surprised in Germany that you do that for yourself, like, like, oh, that's what other people are supposed to do for you, and I found it kind of sad almost, because here it's something, some, I don't know, but, um, it's nice, like, they want to celebrate, and they want to make everyone happy, and so it's a nice difference, just for an American at first, it was kind of weird to hear this difference. Yes! Yes! It you bring your own cake. I guess, again, over here in America, it's just that, like, your birthday, your, you're supposed to be celebrated, I guess, is the, is how it works. You're supposed to be celebrated, so everybody shower you with gifts or shower you with attention or shower you with love, and so, of course, they're going to make you the birthday cake and everything. This is your special day. So bring your own cake is another shocking, weird difference that it's, like I said, neither good or bad, but it's just very different. And it's so interesting to see like how different cult how, how different cultures and different countries do things differently. Like that's interesting. I what what we got next? I feel like I'm gonna be shocked by all of these. Father's Day. I was so shocked by Father's Day differences. Oh my gosh. What so in Germany, are? on Father's Day, you, it's, Father's Day is a drinking holiday in Germany. In America, okay. Father's Day is a day to spend with your father. And it yeah. doesn't have to do with alcohol. Unless your father really likes alcohol, then maybe it does. But um, yeah, so my boyfriend's German and he was telling me that this is because in Germany it's legal to drink outside, which it's not in America. You can't drink in public. Uh -huh. Like, you just can't. It's against the law. Um, and a policeman can give you a ticket for drinking in public. You have to cover your alcohol with something. Um, the homeless people prefer a paper bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I think because you can do that in Germany, you can have public drinking holidays. It's, mm. I don't know. The Germans are really fun. Fun people. I had just a fun time in Germany, and that's just one of, I think, the examples of their culture. My boyfriend was saying some Germans actually do spend the day with their father. Um, but most are spending it with their male friends or just with their friends. It doesn't have to be male, but he said generally it's the male friends. So it's like a male celebrating the males. That one I actually really understand. You feel it's different, but I truly understand that because yeah, like over here, Father's Day celebrated. Hey, the rest of the family gets a gift for the father. They say, hey, let's spend the day out with dad, let's you know what I'm saying? But I understand dad, Father's Day gift is, hey, I get to spend a little time away, get to spend some time with my friend, cause you spend every day with your family, I'm sure, like, you know what I'm saying? You spend all, every day with them, so, hey, let me go out with the my friends, get drunk, have an absolutely great time, it's my day, let me have an absolutely great time. Uh, but she said, I mean, some German families do spend time, spend that day with the fathers and everything, but I think that's really cool. I, I really do like that. I, it's definitely different. I really like that one, Germany. Keep it going. Okay, this one I wasn't sure I was going to talk about in a video, but it is like a difference, and it was it's just kind of a strange difference. I think another YouTuber, a German YouTuber I heard, talk, talked about this with a very factual way, so I'm going to try to do that too. I hope it's not different just because I'm a woman, um, but in Germany, uh, circumcision is not practiced. I knew that If you don't know what circumcision is, please Google it. In the US, it's a common practice, which I think is yeah. kind of sad to do that to a baby. So this is like a, I don't know, a personal thing, but in the yeah. US, for whatever reason, it's common. In American high school, for me, there was jokes going around like that um, if you have a boyfriend, you cross your fingers and hope that he's circumcised. And that's, I think, a terrible thing, that that was the general rumor going around, that it was somehow yeah. bad. But no, it's not. And let me know your thoughts down below, so I don't have to say so much here. You can give your opinions down below why you think it's different. And, um, and I took a woman's studies class, and we talked about why it is uh, not a good practice to do that for mm. sensory reasons and blah 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 so there's like lots of that. reasons so i'm not going to get into it in this video but that's a difference and yeah so germany is really nice they just keep it keep it natural how things should be
<laughs> yeah, uh, reacted to that one in a uh, Feely from Germany. Absolutely love her videos. She's a rock star YouTuber. Uh, but talked about the difference between circumcision in America and Germany. Um, got a lot of comments on that one. Uh, <laughs> because I, I, I think here, just because you're in America, like it's the norm. It's natural to get circumcised. It, it feels like if you don't get circumcised, like later, like in high school and stuff, people do like tend to make fun and make jokes about that. And girls aren't used to that here. So it's like, that's strange. That's weird to them. And they might not necessarily like an uncircumcised guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's in all cases. Definitely not saying that. But I'm saying over here in America, it is the norm to get circumcised. Where over there in Germany, it's the norm to, to, be, to just be natural. Don't do that to the baby. They call it like mutilating or some mutilation, something like that. Shouldn't do that. It's not, that, that's how it naturally happens. But yeah, it's just different. Things are done differently. So whether it's good or bad to be circumcised or uncircumcised, it, I guess it's just the way it is between two different countries. Uh, so that one, uh, yeah. Like I said, I react to Feely from Germany. So if you really want my like opinion on that, go react to or go check that video out. Just search up like Dream Team Neil, circum German circumcision or something like that, and it should pop up. I assume. But uh, okay, let's get to the next one. Men don't pay for dates. And this is depending on where you are in the US because a video I'll upload in the future, I did an interview with strangers on the street where I asked um, other questions, not just the armpit question like I said at the beginning, but um, I also asked about when you're on a date, who pays? And in Portland, the answers were, um, seem to be on average that uh, they pay for themselves on the date, the woman will pay for herself, the men have no problem with that, which was very German to me. That was my experience in Germany was, it was half and half in German when I went on a date. Yeah. Um, half the time the man would pay for me and then the other half he wouldn't. But when the man didn't pay, I always would would say like, I'll get the next date or I'll pay for the next thing and they'd, they'd welcome that idea. In Southern California, I think it's still, has a culture of the men pay for the dates and yeah. the women are women and and I don't know it's the gender thing is in Southern yeah. California I think is still yeah. very separate and I don't know I am now I think living in Germany long enough I learned why that's a good thing and it's a partnership you don't want someone who just wants to take care of you you want a partnership where you take care of each other and I think Thanks. it's just it's better it's, it's or I don't know about better everyone's different but um yeah yeah I see pros and cons to both. I do see, yeah. Uh, I don't think either way is good or bad, but I completely understand both ways. And while I was like, ah, Germany way sound amazing. Like, I know when I was dating my girlfriend, like, uh, like we began, like, I literally just, like, paid for every single day. I don't know. There was something. Because I feel like that's how I was raised. And, like, so when she would, like, try to pay for dates and be like, I got this. Like, I got, let me. And I'd be like, no, no. Like, put your money up. I got this. Don't. Don't worry about it. This is me. I got you. Don't worry about it. But that, like, I don't know. It was just, it is weird that I got, like, a, a, like a bad feeling when she tried to pay for dates and that I wouldn't let her. I find that to be strange. But I feel like that's, like, like I said, the way I was raised. And so I was like, this is how it is. And, and yeah, it's, I don't know. It's weird because I feel like you do, you do it because, like, you want to impress the girl. You want to show them that you can be a provider. You want to show them that they're taken care of. You want to, but like she said, relationships are a partnership. And so, you know what I'm saying? Should be both people, like, taking care of each other, looking out for each other. And so, uh, I think Germany, if I were to pick one, I would say Germany. Uh, I think that would be, if I was looking at it, Object subject is it objectively or subjectively? I don't know. If I was looking at it with the unbiased lit through an unbiased lens, I would say Germany's way is probably the better way to go if you ask me. But because I'm here in America and because that's how I was raised and that's the society and everything around me, that's just how I dated. So yeah. 
I'm loving this video, dog, because these are definitely differences between Germany and America. University difference. So when I was in university, I remember someone had given a, a speech, and all of a sudden, all the Germans are knocking on the table like this. Knock, 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 knock on their desks. And I'm looking around like, what are they doing? Why are they doing that? And um, so this was another weird difference for me, because I was expecting everyone to clap, like, you know, um, but apparently oh. this is a university thing. My German boyfriend told me uh, the high schools that he went to, um, everyone clapped, but then when he went to university, everyone knocked. Huh. So I'm not sure why they changed that from high Clap school to university, knocking. but yeah. it's funny. I don't know. It's just shocking and surprising, and I loved it. I would love for someone to explain that one to me because I'm very intrigued about that. Why, why knocking in university? Is that... A, why, yeah, please explain that to me in the comment section. The bachelorette parties, I remember I was, we were relaxing in a park in Hamburg, and here comes some guy dressed in a funny costume. He's very drunk and asks us if we want to buy something in his basket. Are you, one, for one year we can get a shot, or candy, or something. And I was like, what is this guy doing? And so bachelorette parties and bachelor parties are just everywhere, like, oh my gosh. Everywhere you look in Germany, this is going on, which is like nice. You know, like yeah. there's no shortage of Germans getting married, which is kind of nah. sweet, uh, I think, because yeah. in America you don't really see bachelor bachelorette parties as often, I think, and um, and this humiliation thing. I just see Germans humiliating themselves, going up to strangers, asking like, "This happened to me. I was walking home from university, and this really drunk group of men came up to me and started asking me questions." Unfortunately, at the time, my German was pretty bad, so I didn't really know what they were saying, but. It was funny nonetheless. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I thought Bachelor Bachelor Party was like women or men like getting really drunk and just having a good time. But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know the real difference in that one. These points aren't weird. These are just awesome. So I'm going to leave off on two really awesome points about Germany if you made it to this part of the video is education is free even for an international student um Love just it. amazing germany is so amazing like the fact that i got to study in germany and i know there's a fee per semester which is only 350 euro sometimes it changes um but that's 350 euros a semester my god that is an absolute dream 300 oh my god i'm about ready to go to school right now in germany I got my bachelor's degree, but F it, I might go for my master's for 350 a semester, dog. So around the fee, it costs every semester to study in Germany, which is just, for me, that's the cost of my books in America. That's cheaper than the cost of my books in America. <laughs> so for me, it's practically free. Um, 3,000, yeah, that sound about right. That just costs about 3,000 per semester. Yeah, that's about right. I don't know why it's just Germany has just this awesome tax system where everyone gets taxed to support the whole country's education and the country's healthcare, which is the next point. Healthcare. So because of the tax thing I just talked about before, um, you pay for healthcare and everything's free. So awesome. Shout out Germany, bro. That those last two points were incredible. The other points were definitely different. Like. Uh, Definitely, from an American perspective, yeah, we we don't do those things. Not saying it's good or bad, just saying it's very different. That's all we got. Make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, give a video a thumbs up. It's your boy D Neil. Out.